uh, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy today of being here uh, to talk about my uh, experience, uh, my music experience, and uh, I think the best way to express myself is uh, to play for you, first of all. I'm going to play a piece I wrote uh, for uh, Mahmoud Darwish. Mahmoud Darwish is a Palestinian uh, um, a poet. Uh, I met him uh, in 1992 in Geneva. I was playing uh, there uh, for the Red Crest, a concert, a charity concert for Red Crest. Actually, uh, Mr. Gorbachev was uh, there and Audrey Hepburn and Mahmoud Darwish. And w I was very interested, not for Mr. Gorbachev, but for Mahmoud Darwish and Audrey Hepburn, of course. <laughs> and uh, when I went to the stage, I was looking for uh, Mahmoud Darwish and Audrey Hepburn. And of course, I saw the sign of Mr. Gorbachev there. Uh, so uh, I met uh, Mahmoud Darwish after then. And uh, we went to uh, supper together. And uh, I was uh, very admired that uh, Mahmoud Darwish, he, he's in love with classical music and he's in love with uh, the sonata of Johann Sebastian Bach. And he asked me if I played this uh, sonata before. I told him, yes, of course. And uh, he was telling me, uh, he, tell, he told me that he would like uh, to attend a concert when I play the sonata of Bach. Uh, time passed and I met him sometimes here in Berlin or in Paris or in New York uh, and every time he was asking me and what about the sonata of Bach and I said okay next time I invite you to attend a concert of mine unfortunately Mahmoud Darwish uh, passed away in 2010 I think and uh, when I heard about his death I uh, wrote this piece I'm going to play for you now. <coughs> it's called The Traveler. <coughs>
piece uh, was written uh, uh, to go around the stage because uh, Mahmoud Darwish was a traveler. He traveled all over the world and uh, actually he died in America because uh, he was uh, not allowed to, to, to go to his uh, uh, hometown, but he buried in, in Ramallah. Good. I'm going now to talk a little bit about uh, my music experience. I was born in Aleppo. Aleppo is a state in Syria, uh, which is suffering now. Uh, it's a town of 10,000 years of culture and one of the most oldest city in the world. I was studying there in the Arabic Music Institute till I was 17. Then I went to, I got a stipendium to go to Soviet Union and I studied there in Moscow for six years. Then I came to Berlin and I had my high studies in violin in Berlin and in Krakow in Poland. 1992, as I, gave, as I played my diploma in Moscow, the jury asked me to play a piece of uh, a Syrian composer. I was looking at that time and I didn't know anybody who wrote a classical music because in the Arabic world, we have two kinds of composers. One of them, uh, if I can call them, uh, uh, melodists. I mean, they write a melody, one line of music. And the classical music actually is more lines <coughs> of music, yeah, which is harmonized. And uh, that's the difference between Arabic music and classical music. So we have great composers in that mean, like uh, Abdul Wahab or Muhammad Qasabji or Zakaria Ahmad and Farid Atrash and other composers. But uh, that uh, was not the project I'm working on because uh, such a melody is not suitable for the kind of music I'm playing. So I, was, uh, I found a, a composer, actually he's from Aleppo, Mr. Diaz Sikari a well-known uh, composer. He traveled to Paris in the early 50s and he was living there for more than 50 years. Uh, I contacted him and he sent to me a piece written by him for, the, uh, for violin and piano. And uh, I played the piece in my diploma and the jury were very happy to hear such kind of music. So the idea uh, came to me then, uh, why do I not play such uh, uh, kind of music? Uh, because I belong to this area, I belong to the Middle East and uh, to, Arabic, uh, to the Arab world. Uh, so I began to, to, uh, to find uh, such kind of composers who wrote uh, such kind of music, classical music uh, in the European uh, way of writing. Uh, and 1997, I found a project called Arabic Music and the World, where I collect uh, pieces written by Arab composers, and I play them and I distribute them and I uh, record them. My first CD called a Gesture uh, was a collection of uh, seven uh, Arab composers from Syria, Egypt, uh, Lebanon and Morocco. Uh, for violin and piano. It came in uh, to, uh, 2001. Unfortunately, the date was uh, absolutely a, a, a hammer no? because the, the uh, September 11th and my CD came on October 2001. And it has uh, absolutely no chance to uh, be distributed. I mean, uh, 2001, if you remember, or you don't remember, <laughs> because you are so young. Uh, 
if you go on the streets and you you were talking in Arabic, so the people the people uh, were uh, have a feeling of you. Yeah. Uh, but after then, I continued with my project, and uh, 2010. I found a, a sponsor, it was the municipality of Aleppo, to make uh, the whole CD, the, the, the whole pieces written by Diaz Sekari for violin and piano, and it was uh, 22 pieces, and uh, I found uh, 22 uh, great pianists who accompanied me uh, for this project and they were my friends uh, who studied with me in Moscow or in Berlin or in Krakow. And we recorded this uh, CD and it, uh, it was a great opening in the citadel of Aleppo, uh, in the throne uh, hall, where uh, Al-Mutanabbi and Saif uh, al-Dawli al-Hamadani and other great names were there. And uh, it has to be a piece of mes a message of peace from Aleppo to the whole world, but it turned uh, other way on. I mean, my town, my hometown now is uh, absolutely uh, destroyed, and um, uh, the old city of Aleppo um, suffering a lot, uh, and. Uh, Mm, I can't express my 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 feeling really about uh, my old my hometown. Anyway, uh, I find uh, like uh, His Excellency now said, music and culture, uh, it's our way to uh, define ourselves, to present ourselves, to say to the whole world that we are existing and that we, we will continue in that way. And uh, we need, of course, uh, support always. And um, uh, uh, um, I mean, uh, music, as you, as you uh, hear no, uh, now, uh, it's uh, an understandable uh, matter, yeah? I mean, everyone in the world can hear this music and everyone can interpret it uh, or having his uh, own interpretation of this music. Uh, uh, as well, the, the, kino, uh, the cinema or uh, literature or uh, fine art, uh, I mean, it's our weapon to 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 fight against uh, that's what's going on in our in our lands now in the Middle East of course and uh, for for um, uh, uh, 20 years ago uh, it was uh, written about me in the stern uh, magazine in the uh, journal uh, that the the man who who's, uh, who comes from the de Syrian desert, uh, Sovietic weapon, teaching our children how to play Bach and Beethoven, and uh, it's a matter of fact that uh, this music, I'm, I mean, it belongs to the uh, whole, uh, every everyone. Also, mu music has no nationalities, and. Uh, I'm going to improve uh, that idea. I'm going to play all over the world, and um, just to, to to present ourselves that our culture uh, would continue, and uh, nobody can stop it, and nobody can, um, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, stop it. Um, that's actually what I wanted to say. And uh, now I want uh, to present to you uh, invention of me, a very uh, good sound I found here in Berlin. Uh, a lady, uh, her name is uh, Reem al Khabra. Uh, I hope uh, that she'll have, uh, she'll have a great future. And today, for the first time, I'm playing with her. Uh, I'd like to present her, please. We are going to we are going to present a piece of uh, uh, 
Fairuz. Fairuz is the well-known singer in in the Arab world. Yeah. Uh-huh. 